Wipro coding questions that were asked recently that was held on 24 2 2022 if you observe the input format in the first line the user needs to enter a string as input and if the output format is also a string by replacing the vowels in the string with the next vowel this means let's take a string as hemant and we need to replace the vowels in the given string with the next vowel here they are giving a hint called a e i o u the order of vowels is a e i o u similarly in capital case also a e i o u so we need to replace the vowel with the next vowel so the expected output is h e after the e the vowel encountered is i h i m and a is a vowel so the next vowel is e next n n is not a vowel so we don't need to change the character so n is not vowel and h is also not vowel this is the expected output from from the above input that is hemen from the input hemen we are getting an output called h i m a n t h similarly we are having a sample test cases let's have a look on sample test cases this will give you a confidence that our logic is correct or not the input the input is given as b a e t r i u t u the first character is b so this means that this is not a vowel so the next character is a so a is a vowel so we need to replace that vowel with the next vowel so the next vowel after a is after a is e so we we are replacing a with e so next character in input is e so we need to replace e with next vowel so the next vowel for e, e is i so in the output we are replacing e with i the input the fourth character that is e is not a vowel so we are not changing t t is same as t only and the next character is r a r is also not replaced in the output and the next character in the input is i so i is a vowel so we need to replace that i with the next vowel so the next vowel of i is y o so we need to replace o the in place of i we need to replace o in place of i and the next character is u so u is here so there is no next character after u there is no next character after it after u so we need to iterate the vowels so whenever u is encounter that just iterate this that means after u again a is encountered so i am replacing u with a after that the next character is e e is not a vowel that's why i am not replacing t e is same as t only and the last character in the input is o so we need to check whether the o is a character in vowel character or not if it is a vowel character we need to replace Yes, O is a vowel character, so we need to replace O with next character. O, the next character is U, so we need to replace that O with U. This is the logic behind this program. I just simply execute this logic using Java. I am taking Java as my programming language. We all all know that in the in Java the first statement is class and giving class name as wipro the next statement is public static void main public static void main of string args it will takes parameters as string string args then we need to take string input from the user in java if you want to take any input from the user we need scanner class all the 
functions available in scanner class are used to take string input, integer input, character input or float input. If you want to take any input from the user, scanner class will be used. In scanner class, different functions will be used to take different type of inputs from the user. So I'm going to create object to the scanner class scanner s equal to new scanner of system dot in. So the scanner class is available in util package if you don't import that util package into our class we are getting an error that's why i am going to import the util package into our program import java.util.scanner class scanner class after that i need to take string input from the user so string str equal to string str equal to sc dot next line of after after taking string in we need to iterate each and every character that's why i'm going to create an character array so char char array equal to str dot in strings we are having a special function called char array which is used to convert string into the character array to char array it will convert the strings into character array after that we need to iterate each and every character that are present in the character array so for that i am using for loop to iterate the character array for int i equal to 0 by i value must be 0 because the array indexes are starts from 0 only that's why I am using the i value as 0 and it will runs the loop until and unless it will encounter the last character that means the character length it will less than character length array dot length i plus plus i plus plus in the for loop we need to check whether the first character is a vowel or not. If it is a vowel, we need to replace that vowel with the next vowel. So I'm going to check if array of i. Array of i means in the first i value is 0. So array of 0 double equal to a or not. Double equal to double equal to is used to compare one character with another character. Not only character comparison comparison it is used to compare one data type to another data type whether it is int integer input string input character input any comparison is needed we use double equal to so if array of i double equal to a if it is a that means it is a vowel we need to replace that a with e because the next character of a is e so array of i equal to e if the condition is sort not satisfied we need to check another conditions else else means if the condition if the first condition is not satisfied we need to check another condition else if or else if array of i double equal to capital a if the character is capital a if the encountered character is capital A. We need to replace. We need to replace array of I with capital E because the next character of capital A is E. In vowels, the next character of capital A is E. Else, this condition is also not satisfied. We need to check another condition array of I double equal to. E or not if it is e we need to replace e, i e with i because after e we are having i as vowel character array of i equal to i else this condition also not satisfied we need to check another condition if array of i double equal to capital a or not array of i double equal to capital e if it is capital E, we need to replace with capital I. So array of I equal to 
capital I. Thus, this condition is also not is not satisfied. We need to check another condition. A E are completed. The next character is we need to check whether the encountered character is I or not. If the encountered character array of I double equal to I, first we need to check I small i. If the encountered character is small i, we need to replace I with O small O only because we are checking if it is a small i or not. If it is small i, the next vowel character is small o only. Else, if uh, above condition is also not satisfied, we need to check another condition array of i double equal to capital I or not. Capital I. Then the encountered character is capital I. We need to replace i with capital O. Array of i equal to capital O. Sorry, capital O. Else, this condition is also not satisfied. Else, if we need to check array of i equal to O or not. Array of i double equal to O. If it is O, we need to replace with U. A, E, I, O. After O, we are having U as character. So, we need to replace O with U. Array of I equal to U. Else, this condition is also not satisfied. Else, if of array of I double equal to capital O or not. If the encountered character is capital O, then we need to replace array of I double equal to capital U. If the encountered value is U, sorry, else if, that means else if means the last characters, the last conditions are not satisfied, then only we need to replace else if array of I double equal to U it is u so there is no next vowels so that's why we need to we need to start again start with a so array of array of i equal to start with again start with a else if array of i double equal to capital U then array of I equal to capital A if any of the above condition is not satisfied then we are just simply continue the, continue the loop that means the encountered character is not a vowel if it is vowel we just replace that vowel with the next vowel else we just continue the loop after completion of these steps we are going to just simply print updated character array system dot out dot print of what is the name of the array name of the array is a r r just save the program i'm saving the program as wipro dot py after saving the program i just open the command prompt cmd The file is available in the file is available in C drive. Then I'm going to change the directory to C drive. Then in C drive, we are having a different folder called Python Madhu. In Python Madhu again another folder is there that is Java collections. Java collections. Then our file is existed in java collections that's why i'm going to compile the program java c and name of the file is wipro.java we are having an error called array of file okay here i missed the semicolon that's why it will get an error yeah here semicolon is missing that's why it will get an error Let's compile the program. 
here also we are getting another error string str equal to sc comma i am using comma but uh, is, it is sc dot next int of sc dot just save the program then clear the screen just compile the program it's not a statement error file 18th line in 18th line it will get an error array of i k it will use double equal to but i am assigning that value that's why it will get an error just save the program and run it once there is no errors in our program then run the program java wipro it will ask for input i am giving hemant as input here we are observing that e is replaced with i that is after e we are having i as vowel character that's why it is replaced with i and the next vowel is a after a the next character vowel is e that's why it is replacing with e i hope all of you understand the program well if you are having any doubts please comment it below i will definitely clear your doubts thank you all